My name is uh, Cleep Gardenstrap, and I will be interviewed today. So first, actually, I, I set my alarm for 3.19 in the afternoon. Um, I, I wake up and then, uh, after I wake up, I, uh, I get, I go on my morning run for about, like, uh, tw 20 minutes. Yeah. And then, I just, uh, I, then I make my, my, uh, my breakfast, um, and I, I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> Now I'm going to make my breakfast. <laughs> so I like to get a plate and then get the end of the bread. And then I put some, um, I get some of my Nutella that it has expired by probably a year. It's a little crusty, but that gives it, that gives it flavor. So I spread that all over the um, bread until it looks like like it's completely covered and then um, I like to put some sriracha all over it it gives it that you know spicy tang to it um, uh, you have to make sure it's like all over like I put the Nutella then I like to get a chunk of watermelon um, just a small chunk I, I don't really like watermelon that much but it gives it like that you know fruity summer flavor. Then, um, after I put the watermelon on it, of course, I, uh, I take some black beans, um, from a jar that I had and, uh, surrounded it by, with, uh, surrounded it, surrounded the watermelon. Um, then I also took a grape and stuck it near the watermelon, so it's kind of matches with the, you know, watermelon. Then I go into my cupboard and take out my mustard that has been in there since 2001 and I squirt. Oh well, I mean it doesn't really come out that good. Usually it's just water that comes out, but I think I like that better than, you know, the real mustard, so I get the water. Then I take the crusty part from the side of the spout and uh I I only take a little bit though cuz it like makes me die and I I put it on the grape as much as I can um but I have to make sure I get most of it on there cuz you know I want that mustard and there you have it now you can eat and enjoy it's, yeah. it's very delicious you you should try it sometime it, it makes my my mouth like um tingle a little bit. I've lost part of my tongue. Uh, about Friday afternoon, Monday evening. Oh, I lost it about like twelve times. Chunk chunks of my tongue from that meal. Um. But it's because it's so good, so, yeah. Um, what I do after that? Uh, I usually just, um, well, 
here's the thing. I haven't told this to anyone, but I like to go into my laundry room and um and sniff the the laundry you know the the cloths uh you know the the cloths the things that you put with your laundry that smells good uh okay uh oh these things you know the Hmm, the, the, the lunge, the, the, what say? The dryer sheets. The, yeah. I like to go, uh, only after I eat my breakfast, though. Any other time of the day, they don't smell as good. Um, yeah. But I go into my laundry room and lock the door. I put a lock on there. Even though I don't live with anyone, I, I lock myself in there for about two hours yeah it just sniffing it it just smells good to me <laughs> mm. Yum! <laughs> okay, I, I think I'm done for the day. <sighs> Then after I um I do that, uh, I I I like to pretend I'm a a model for like a, a company. I think I would be really good. I just don't have the money to audition for it or anything. But I've been practicing every single day. Um, and I personally think that I'm amazing at it, so, uh, if anyone's watching this out there, that's like a modeling person thing, boss, uh, hire me. Okay, now time for my modeling session. Me go. Oh, am I? I'm not supposed to talk. Uh, yeah, this is the best I've ever done, I think. Oops. Okay, now for round two. Oh, wait, I have to model for clothes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That'll do. There we go. Okay. My, my my stomach. I think I broke my stomach bone. I'm okay, everyone. Calm down, fans. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do I show off? Uh, yeah. Uh. And that's pretty much how my morning goes, uh, yeah. Well, uh, in the afternoons, um, I like to go visit my mom. 
She lives like right across the street from me. Like I have to walk like maybe. Uh, I, I counted my steps before. I, I could do this. Uh, it takes me about 37 steps to get to her front door. Um, I visit her every day after I do my dancing. I'm, not my dance, my uh, modeling routine. Yeah, I, I go and visit her because I always feel like she's uh, a little lonely and misses me. I know for sure that I miss her every time I I step out of her house. So, uh, I yeah, I like to visit her, and um, I I just like talk to her and stuff. And we have we have a very strong relationship. Yeah. There's my mom's house. Mom, mom, <gasps> mom. What are you doing here? I told you to not come back. You are a disappointment to our family. Also a disgrace. Leave this house this instant. But, but I, I... No buts. Get out. But you're my mom. Yeah, I adopted you. Couldn't you tell? I have... A completely different accent than you. You're all weird. You were cute when you were a baby. Leave. Okay, Mom. <laughs> Love you, bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow? Get out. Then after I talk to my mom and have a wonderful conversation, I just, um, I head home. And then I usually just, I, I just end up taking a, a nap, cause you know I, I'm tired and stuff. It's so nice to finally be home. <laughs> then after I take my two minute nap, I- No, we're, we're done with the interview. What was that? Done with the interview. We're gonna have a part two. You, it's too I'm long. Done. Uh, you're done. Oh. We're gonna have a part two. You can just leave now. Really? Uh, yeah. Get out of my house now. I'm done with you guys. Uh, okay. I, I, you made me miss Jeez, my... Jeez, okay. My modeling routine. Now I'm gonna... I'm going to go visit my mom before she... Before she worries. Uh, bye.